Sami Aramaki and uh, coming from ANA. And my, now my responsibility is innovation and IT strategy. So today, so I'd like to share the ANA IT transformation. So this is the agenda. So uh, I'd like to focus on the PSS and cloud and mobiles. So this is a uh, domestic market, so uh, almost uh, 1,000 flights per day. Uh, main base is Haneda. And this is the international market. And uh, we have the over 900 flights per week. And uh, now we are very aggressive to expand the international market. So the, from 2010 to 2016, the, almost the, the volume of the international service is doubled. And uh, eventually the international volume will be bigger than the domestic Japan. And now we are the Star Trek Five Stars Award for the two year running. So the, I'd like to show you the short video for the uh, promotion in Japan. campaign named your ANA. Your means uh, the, from the customer point of view. So this is a big promotion in Japan. And uh, so the business class flight monitor with uh, free ticket. And uh, for the 60 invitations, so we have the 56,000 applicants. So that would be kind of booming in the market. So now we are obviously promote the uh, customer experience. So as you can see the, the customer uh, set up the web camera uh, in the flight service and after that so we are gathering the all the video data and uh, uh, also the feedback from the passengers so uh, we will analyze it and uh, uh, make the best use of it in order to improve our customer service and uh, customer experience. Okay, so uh, I'd like to move on to the, to the main theme, uh, uh, that uh, NAIT transformation. So uh, we are very unique position and we have the twin PSS uh, one is the Unisys mainframe for the Japan market, and one is the global uh, IBM mainframe for the global market. And two years ago, oh, we uh, migrated uh, into the Unisys open system named AirCore for Japan domestic. And now we are in the final stage to migrate into the Amadeus RTL for the uh, international market. The reason why we need to keep the twin PSS concept, the Japan's unique market, so the, as you can see, the, all, due to the, all the these features, uh, now our top management decision is to keep the twin PSS concept. But uh, as I explained, so our international market and the international network is uh, growing very rapidly. So now we need to cope with the uh, interlining 
and the uh, uh, regulation of the rule of the uh, global market. So, and also the uh, international market is very changeable due to the, uh, the accident and also the uh, disease and uh, depression. So the volatility is a key issue. But we need to have a big business change to cope with the global standard. So in order to keep or well, continue to keep the twin PSS, so we need to have the synchronization of the post system and also the uh, common graphical user interface, not only for the customers but also for the employees. And uh, next topic is the cloud. So now we have the data center in Tokyo. So the on-premise and private cloud are on it. And uh, our main concept to have the own data center is to have the mission critical system and also the customer data and common platform for entire systems. And looking at the uh, cloud service, so the, now we can enjoy the community cloud, RTA, and also the public cloud in terms of the flight data and the marketing data. So this two, so the concept is kind of hybrid data center. And uh, now we have the hundreds of the system to operate the flight. And uh, now eventually, in a couple of years after, so, uh, we have the hub with the cloud and the hub system on premise or the private cloud. Uh, from my point of view, the benefit of the cloud is this point, small start and quick start we can do that. The scalability is uh, uh, eventually the, the we can enjoy the variable cost. And the next topic is the mobiles. And now the mobile is a key device to work with the customer demand and also improve the productivity of our employees. So this <coughs> benefit uh, we can enjoy with the mobile device as you know. So the point is the combination of the cloud and mobile. And uh, we are very aggressive to introduce the new service and also the uh, new business process uh, based on the cloud and mobile device. And uh, looking at the uh, employees, so the work style innovation is the key thing to expand the benefit uh, with cloud and mobile. So our cabin attendant, uh, almost 60,000 cabin attendant has a own tablet, on flight, and also uh, uh, 2,500 pilots and 1,000 mechanical staff have already their own tablets to see manual and check the, all the pretense and also to have the safe training. Also, we uh, now introduce a smartphone in the business scene and VDI, document management system, and Google for work. 
So these features uh, dramatically change our uh, business process. Now we are just in a very first stage, but in the next stage, so we can best make the best use of these features to improve the customer service and the private operation at the airport. So there, I can show you some YouTube. NA は日本最大の航空会社ですお客様の笑顔のために全社員が一丸となって協力して最高のサービスを目指すそんな DNA OK, thank you for attention それ、from the work style innovation point of view the, we make the best use of these features in combined to improve our business process so this is a conclusion. So uh, today I explained the uh, PSS concept and the cloud and mobile. So the point is about thinking, about decision, and about transformation. So now we are focusing on the how we can meet with the customer experience and how we can utilize the data analysis to improve our process. And the business process change is a must. And work style innovation will help our employees. And eventually, value creation is the company's strategy. Okay, thank you very much.